Lagos, one of the fast growing cities in Africa, located in a West African country, Nigeria, the populous black nation on planet Earth. Lagos State Government, through her transport agency, Lamata, announced in 2023 that they will start the construction of Marina Mautu Interchange, which in 2024, I paid a visit to the construction site to see the current development on the site, and this was my findings. Hello, my name is OZ, and I'm currently at Mautu area of Lagos State. And right there, that's the site where the Mautu bus interchange will be constructed. And right there, work is currently ongoing. Lagos, a city on the move with a huge transport potential. Building and improving transport infrastructure such as road, bus terminals, just like with one we have right here in Mautu, would definitely be a huge plus to the transport infrastructures of Lagos State. Recently, there was a groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of Mautu Marina Bus Interchange. During my visit to the proposed construction site for the Mautu Bus Interchange, this was my findings. First, I noticed the priority right here is to first off the construction site so they can start bringing in the equipment to begin the proper construction of the bus interchange. This is what I saw during my visit. China Civic Engineering Construction Company, CCECC, are the contractors for this project. Here is a comment from the Director General of Lamata on this project. There is an interchange design that, is, um, that we're expecting to implement. We're starting that come January. So if you know that La um, the, what you call it? Marina has water, it has rail, and it has road. So we're making Marina an interchange for transportation such that there will be ease of changing from mode to mode. There's so many ways to in integration. There's localized integration, meaning that I have all my modes close to one another. I have systems integration, which is what is speaking to uh, the ability to use an app to find out when the train is coming or when the bus is coming, uh, and uh, an ITS system. And then there's a payment integration, which Lagos is already doing with the current car. So this will encompass all of those things I described. So there will be um, the rail system in Marina. Underneath that um, Marina station, we will develop a bus terminal that will have the BRT buses coming all the way from Ikorodu to that location. We will have other buses from various routes terminating and taking off from there. Uh, we will also have the first and last mile buses coming away from there. We will have the um, walkways that will allow you to use and then tea out of the station. We will have the cycle racks. You yourself can bring your bikes, uh, lock it up at the marina station and get on the train. So all of that is what we intend to develop and uh, there will be a transit-oriented develop, uh, development building, that building that you can see, which will have uh, cinema, will have offices, will have restaurants, will have little shops, so you can mingle and then there is a skywalk that will take you from that building to the train station and also to... So this whole marina is going to be developed to be a, a beautiful trans transit um, infrastructure of, of types of people. Sort of interesting. There'll be uh, water ferries as well, so there'll be a bus terminal within Marina Station. This is what the Marina train station look like. It is also the proposed site for the construction of the bus interchange here in Marina. Effective transport system encourages economical growth in any city. This is what the Lagos State Government are working on to achieve here in Lagos with the blue line up and running, the red line 
almost ready for commercial operation we have the brt the first and the last mile bus currently running in different parts of lagos having it was touching that we encourage transportation not just within lagos but outside lagos and even outside nigeria would be a huge plus to lagos state government and to nigeria as a whole the Mautu corridor is one of the well populated well connected and easy accessible transport hub that in many years have attracted a lot of travelers going to different parts of the country even outside nigeria this bus interchange when completed won't just only improve the scenery of Mautu, but help solve the need of commuters using this corridor for their transport need whatever is the issues or problem they are going with i also need to face it because why am i the governor I'm meant to solve your problem. I'm meant to be able to ease traffic for you. Lagos State Government, in their own capacity, are doing their do. But I will leave you, Lagosians, to give your own opinion regarding all the infrastructure development going on here in Lagos, especially on the transport infrastructures. This is the BRT station here in Mautu. That's the BRT bus here in Mautu. I have the train station as well. So bringing the bus interchange. This time out too will change what me and you understand as transport. This place as well, you find vehicles going to Togo, Benin Republic, Ghana, in fact, different parts of different countries in Africa. You find the vehicles there. So bringing the bus interchange in this mile too will change everything. You know, bringing everything together and well organized. I, I don't even know what else would be more beautiful than that. So, guys, as the government progress on this project, I'll be giving you updates on what is going on there. More is why you should subscribe to the channel right now. Subscribe right now. So you get information as we progress on this job. Good transport facilities is what Lagosians and Nigerians ask. And this is what Lagos State Government, through her agency, Lamata, promised to deliver to Lagosians. These are pictures from the site where the proposed terminal will be located when fully completed. Thank you for coming forward with me on this video. As I promise, I will keep you informed as work progress on the site. More is the why you should press that subscribe button right now and be part of this awesome family. I kindly recommend you follow the one showing next on your screen. You can support the channel by buying us coffee. This will help fund our next project. Thank you, Armen OZ.